hello and welcome to another tutorial here where we will be building a two a one way traffic light system in this tutorial so in this tutorial we will be using an arduino uno r3 board we will be using a breadboard using the small breadboard okay and we would be using three LEDs okay one would be red um, we need three LEDs the traffic light uses red yellow and green so we have the red this is our red LED this would be a wood yellow the middle one and the final one would be the green LED yeah, these are the LEDs we need now so now what we need to do is we need to connect all of them to the Arduino board using wires so we connect all negative to the using the breadboard we can connect all the negative to the to one port and then connect all of them to ground using the breadboard but then we are going to send the signal to the through the positive so what we can do is we have to connect all the positives to the to their own port so this is it now we have connected all of them to the ground so let's connect the anodes we are connecting the red to pin number d7 change that color to red connecting this yellow to pin number five and we are connecting the green to pin number three screen oh, let's change these colors to black so now basically we have a simple this is how um, a traffic light looks like let's change these are the three colors we have there that is red yellow and green so now let's start the code going in text so first we need to declare the pin modes we let's remove all these things okay so we can start now uh, the first pin is the red pin pin mode red is connected to pin number seven that would be output so we have to know that this is case sensitive so let me just copy all of that Okay, so seven pin number five that's the and pin number three that's the green one so this is the loop now this is what keeps running so digital write um, we are going to write pin number seven that's the first one high meaning pin number seven would be on, then we will be writing uh, we will delay that for two seconds that will be 2000 milliseconds 2000 after that we would be we would show that one off so that will be digital right this was high so this time it would be low digital right um, 7 this is case sensitive so let's not forget about that low okay so this is it now for the red bulb let's just test this and see how it looks like so you see the red is on hmm. not turning off let's see what's the problem
Okay, let's add a delay to the shutdown and see. I think that's the problem here. Let's see delay. That will be delayed for just one second. It's 1,000 milliseconds. Let's start simulation. So you see, it is on for two seconds and off for one second. So now what we are going to do is we are going to send the same to the yellow and to the green. This is just going to be simple and in other projects we will be adding the mm, we will be adding the blink for, for the yellow line for some time but for now we are just going to keep it simple. So this is now let's just change this to this is pin number 5. This is going to be the green this is pin number three okay i mean yellow this is now the green pin number three red light red light yellow and the final one is the um, green so let's start simulation and see so you see the red is on then it's off for one second and then the yellow takes off and then the green takes off so you can look at this and modify it into different ways so a simpler way i am going to show you is um let's say we have 754 let's start with declaring declaring integers to make it simpler let's say if we have constant int red they, um, later we will talk about this constant but for now let's just let's have int red equals to pin number 7 huh? and we have int the next one is the yeah, so yellow yellow and that is pin number 5 and the next one is the green equals to and that is pin number 3 so let's just change this to red so this will be more readable so let's change this 5 to yellow now because now anywhere yellow is it will be equal to 5 because we declared everything from the top there yellow so the next one would be green change this to green let's change this to green so let's start simulation so you see it is still working red and then yellow and now we have the green so you can change the time you want them um, to switch on here if we want for this one to be on for um, five seconds we're just going to change 2000 milliseconds to 5000 and immediately if this one shuts down we just want to play the yellow lights let's do that so immediately the red goes off the yellow is goes on and then the green and then after the green goes off for one second so we can change all that and and there would be no uh, delay after one goes off if let's delete this okay there is simulation I'm sorry. Okay, let's delete that. Okay, so start simulation. I see red, yellow, green, and back to red. So we can keep the green blinking for some more seconds by using the for loop. So I will be showing you the Arduino block so the uh, arduino block is well documented so let's see we need um, to see the for loop for loop okay for this is how you declare the for loop for initialization condition increment so this is it for int I so you we will be using this in 
our next two that will be a two-way traffic light and it would be uh, more complicated because we will be keeping we would make the yellow light blink before the other light turns on so we will be using a for loop in our next tutorial but for now today this is uh this is a tutorial we have and this is what it would be doing so and now next tutorial also we will be using resistors so that you will see how this um, small icon will disappear so let's stop the simulation and go through the code one more time so you can see the code here in red so meaning we are keeping uh, we are de declaring a variable and giving it the number seven the name of the variable is seven and the value is uh, is red the name is red sorry and the value is an integer that is seven the same thing is going on here for yellow and green so here in the setup we are setting up the pin mode okay uh, led uh, where is going to give output or oh, uh, it's an input pin so here red of all of them are input pins so you can see the led are all going to output light so you see here pin mode red output that is pin mode pin number seven is output yellow pin number five is output and green pin number three is output so you can see here the red one is connected to pin number seven the yellow one is connected to pin number five and the green one is connected to pin number three so here is the loop here's how the program keeps on running and running so here the first thing we did was digital write red we are writing to pin seven high that's what i said the um, digital pins are of only two values this is the high value and the low value so we are writing digital red to pin value as high that means that it is going to receive a voltage of it is going to receive five volt for and delay two seconds for two seconds after which it is going the digital right would be low meaning it is going to receive zero volt and immediately after that the same thing happens for the yellow light and then for the green light and after that it goes back to the loop and keeps on running and running so that's all let's have a final look of that so what we did here all the negative um we connected them to the ground using the breadboard as i explained in the last um to the previous tutorial understanding the breadboard you can find that in the playlist so here all of them are connected to the negative you can see everything is connected and before they are connected to the ground so you can see from red yellow and green you can use this to add um, a lots of leds to you can see make up to um, three four five traffic lights but for now we're sticking up to this up to our next tutorial thank you